Hello, hello, welcome to this 5M tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to convert any menu single player map into a 5M ready resource. And my goal is that by the end of the video, it can be dragged straight into your server and ready to go. Just a heads up, any tools that I mentioned throughout this video will be linked in the description. As well as this, my Discord in case you have any further questions or problems. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the description and click on the first link. That's actually going to take you to this website called OpenIV. Now what OpenIV is going to do is it's going to help us convert the file from a ymap.xml into just a ymap. And that's going to help us uh, compile the resource. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're here is click on this uh, green download button. Now I'm not going to do it since I already have it downloaded. And once that's gone and downloaded, it shouldn't take too long. Just head down to your Windows bar and type OpenIV. And now open that up. And once it's opened, you're going to see this. Now, yeah, it might look a little bit confusing, but uh, it's pretty simple. So you're just going to go to the GTA 5 section and make sure you click all windows. And then once it's opened up, we're just going to minimize it and leave it in the background. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is head to the second link in the description and that's going to bring you here. Now this is the map editor and menu to YMAP converter, also known as ME2YM. And what this is going to do is help us convert the XML file into the YMAP.XML file. So first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click download. And then you're going to click download again. Now I am going to download this with you even though I already have it downloaded just because uh, it's a bit tedious. So now, if you don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip already installed, go ahead and uh, install that. Uh, there will be a link for that in the description somewhere. And what this does is this helps us extract the files inside the zip onto your desktop. So once you've got the files open like this, you're going to want to drag them all into your desktop somewhere, anywhere, it doesn't really matter. I've already got mine there, as you can see. And then you can go ahead and close that. Now, we don't care about any of this, really. The only thing we care about is me2ym.exe. So go ahead and open that up, that will bring you to here. Now, I'm going to assume you already have the menu map already downloaded, but if not, I'm just going to use this one as an example. Okay, so once you have your map figured out or downloaded, you're just going to go into it, and all we care about is this thing right here. It's going to say XML document, or it could say XML source code as well. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get this, and you're going to drag it into somewhere in your desktop where you remember it. Mine's just going to go straight into downloads. And if you need to replace it, then replace it. Okay, so now you can go and close that. Now what you're going to want to do is open ME2YM, just like that. And now you're going to do File, New, File, Open. And then you're going to find your XML file, wherever you put that. You're going to open it, and that chords down here now. And you're going to go File, Export, and Downloads, or wherever you want. And you can name it wherever you want. For my sake, I'm just going to name mine Tutorial. Now you can see it says .ymap.xml there as well, just click save. And now you can go ahead and close out of that. And now what you're going to want to do is open OpenIV if you closed it. And go up to the top here and click edit mode, click yes, just make sure that's uh, glowing blue up there. And now if you don't already have a mods folder, just go to new folder and call it mods, you will see it go purple. So you're just going to want to go in there and then update x64 all in here or anywhere you want but I'm just going to go into mods for now and all you need to do is get the XML YMAP file and just drag it straight on straight on and you'll see it does that little thing and it goes to tutorial.ymap now now that that's done you're just going to go to you're going to make a new folder actually somewhere on your PC and you're going to name it whatever you want the YMAP resource to be called for example this I might call it um uh, anti zombie sandy shores y map okay so i'm just going to name my tutorial and then you're going to control shift n or click new folder up there and you're going to call it stream s t r e a m no capitals nothing like that and then what you're going to want to do is actually head up to view at the top of your file explorer and make sure you've got file name extensions and hidden items checked now you can go back to home or file or whatever just home and now you can right click, go to new, go to text document, and you're actually going to call this fxmanifest.lua. So get rid of the .txt and put it to .lua. That is a Lua file, just click yes. And now you're going to open this up. Now, 
for you it will open up onto notepad most likely if you do like the look of this um coding system called visual studio code instead then you can go ahead in the description and it will be linked down there as well so what you're going to do next is head into the description and you're going to find this you're just going to copy and paste all of this in and this is just basically the uh resource manifest or fx manifest for the um, ymap resource this is just saying that it is a ymap and the fx game version and stuff like that and you can change this to whatever you like it's just going to be on your tx in your resources list showing up the versions and stuff like that you don't need to change it though and just uh, control s to save that and then go ahead and close that and go to your folder and all you're going to want to do is actually head back onto OpenIV and you're going to drag this .ymap file into stream right there and as you can see that's gone in there now and you can delete that out of there I'm just going to delete that or you can leave it in, it's up to you and you can close OpenIV now and once you have this, what you're going to have to do now is actually drag this whole folder so whatever you named the ymap folder to and you're going to drag it into your server if you have not done already uh, and you're going to drag it into your ymaps section or wherever you store your ymaps and stuff like that uh, if you don't know how to do that i'm sure there's a video out there uh, maybe even one of my channel by now i'm not sure so once you've done that what you're going to want to do is head to your tx or your server cfg and you're just going to ensure whatever the name of the resource is there after you've put it in your server and then you can just restart your server, load in, and it should be there. Or go ahead and try this out now to see if it works. Okay, as you can see, the YMAP's loaded in fine, everything's working. Um, if you had any issues or problems, be sure to join my Discord and let me know in there, or leave a comment. I make sure to read those as well. Same thing with any suggestions for future videos. And uh, other than that, have a good day slash night. Until next time.